Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. It's your friend Kufre Ibarra Francis. All right, uh, today's video, I want to show you how you can prepare your pH tester, just like what we have here. So instead of buying it in the market, you can do this. You can prepare your tester at home to test the quality of water. So I have my specimen A being my uh, purple garbage, my specimen B, inside here sodium bicarbonate my specimen c is a methylated uh, spirit and then my specimen d is h2o with being water all right it's going to be a very short video all right so at the end of the day i want all of you guys to understand all that we are going to do here it's going to be a very short video something you can actually practicalize at home all right and then after which after this uh, practical we are going to use this uh, the ph the solution i'm going to prepare all right to test the water okay so first of all i'm going to divide the specimen a being my garbage i just need something very little all right so this is my specimen a all right so this is what i'm going to use and then I'm going to slice it. Okay, so then after slicing the purple uh, garbage, I'm going to turn it in here. I'm going to turn in the methylated spirit. I will tell you why I have to use the methylated spirit. After you've done that, you allow it for some time. So you can use your spoon. You can use your spoon to to stay to turn it all right something is really happening inside and you are going to see um without wasting any time i'm going to filter filter it i'm going to filter what we have yeah that i'm supposed to still allow it to stay for some time yeah but it's still going to work Going to filter it into this empty test tube. So we still have some left, but I'm going to cover this first. This is what we have in. This is what we have inside here. What we have, all right, inside the test tube. So we're going to take uh, the our specimen D being water. All right, and then so this is ordinary water gotten from the tap. So I'm going to turn some into this. All right, we are going to test the two water. All right, and in this water, I'm going to drop a little of sodium. This is my sodium bicarbonate. I'm going to drop a little of it inside. We're going to turn it into another test tube. And then we're going to drop, we're going to drop a little of this into it to see what it will change to. You see this, this purple, and then this is the one with sodium bicarbonate alkaline alkaline water it has turned to alkaline water because of the sodium bicarbonate so we'll drop a little inside can you see the color all right you can see the color right it shows that the water is alkaline 
it shows the water is alkaline. So with this, you can actually use this to test the alkalinity of water. Okay, so for our specimen E, being lemon, we are going to see if we can actually use that to reverse this water to acidic. You can see this. So we actually were able to use the lemon to reverse this water to how it was. So we're going to test this one that we've not dropped anything into. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to turn this back. I'm going to I'm going to turn this one into here. All right. And then I'm going to rinse it with ordinary water. All right, so I'm going to turn this ordinary water in here. And then I'm going to also drop a little of this. If you notice, there is no changes here. Here it is still purple. It is still, it is still purple here. All right. So it means that this test, this particular solution that we just prepare can only test the alkalinity of the water, not the, um, the acid, uh, acidity of the water. So uh, a lot of you might want to know how long can this stay. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this and then I will keep bringing it out so that we can know how long this can actually stay but i tell you since it's made of a methylated spirit it can last for as long as so we'll take it for storage for observation